Hey everyone, spring is here, May is here. I'm super excited and welcome to our monthly coffee chat where we talk about anything and everything that is going to be happening in our area in the month of May. So let me share my screen with you and then um, we can talk all about the fun things. So here is what we're talking about today. I want to welcome you to May. I think you are just as excited about finally having the spring is here. And let's jump on in and talk about it. April showers bring May flowers. Uh, one of the things that we talk about, and everybody always gets excited in the springtime, is just starting to come out and do projects around our house, especially doing things in our backyards and our front yards and doing some digging. So my suggestion to you is before you do any digging in your, in your yard, especially if it goes deep in the ground, call 811 or head to their website. This way, in case if there's any cables that are buried around your property, you are not going to uh, have any issues and um, nick something. So what that means is the contractor is going to come out to mark different utilities. They put flags down and they spray the ground. And that way you can safely plant your spring and summer projects or maybe put up a gazebo or some other grand plants that you have for this um, summer barbecue season. And there's no cost for the service, yet it's extremely important. So I suggest that you check it out if you are thinking about doing some projects and this might be a concern to you. And I do have a uh, picture, which is very helpful here on the different flags and the different colors that the utilities do use so that way you know what each of those colors means and where your cables are buried. Maintenance checklist, you know we are very serious about helping you to make sure that you keep your home, your biggest investment in tip top shape. So here is your helpful list for this month. And again, don't try and get it all done in one day. It doesn't make sense, but kind of spread it out and put it on your Google Calendar or on your calendar on a refrigerator. Make it easier on yourself, yet make sure that you still get everything checked off on this list. So we have a few things that we do on a regular basis every month. We are cleaning our microwave oven, cleaning our garbage disposal, unclogging sink drains, definitely vacuuming our dryer lint trap. We're still going to walk around and inspect our home's exterior for any issues, especially with the uh, spring storms and the winter weather that we have had. Cleaning our range hood filters, cleaning out our gutters and inspecting our roof shingles for damage. This is something that we do every spring. And the additional three items that are on our annual checklist that fall in for this month is cleaning your windows, cleaning your house siding, and then checking your window screens if the repair is needed. And what I can tell you is don't think that repairing window screens is intimidating. It's actually very simple. I'm going to link a couple of other YouTube videos for you so you can take a look at it. My husband and I looked at it and now we have the screen and the tool in order to do the repairs and it's super easy to do and it's really quick as well. For easy oven cleaning tip, baking soda, water, mix them together where you just stir it and leave the paste on and then just wipe it clean. Uh, baking soda, as you know, is an amazing natural ingredient that you can use for tons of different things around the home. May events, I'm super excited because I love to see nature waking up and all the uh, flowers blooming and birds are singing. I actually put out my, my refilled my bird feeders all, over the weekend and all the birds are super happy and they're chirping and I love hearing them when I'm standing at my kitchen window. Lots of things are happening. One of our favorite is Holland Ridge Farms. They have millions and millions of tulips. It is the most beautiful color of the rainbow. If you haven't checked them out or you haven't experienced their tulips, definitely head to their website. Azalea Festival is happening. Of course, you know, we always share with you different activities that are happening on both sides of the river. There's car shows, there is a food and wine festival. So lots of things to consider to kind of make plans and uh, see what you can do. And of course, you know, we're heading into Mother's Day, one of my favorite holidays. Our family is actually gathering this uh, Saturday because my sister is a new mom. So we're going to celebrate her first Mother's Day on Saturday and actually gather at her house because she has a newborn. So we're going to have a great time 
uh, having the celebration. There's lots of different things that are happening for Mother's Day. I encourage you to do something different this year. Don't just go to the same restaurant, but do something different. Um, if you haven't experienced tea berries in Flemington, it's really cool. There's a new, new leaf tea room in Riverton where you have little sandwiches and you have a tea party, like a tea time. So I think it's pretty cool. Uh, Salt Cave, check it out in Doylestown. It's something that is uh, Himalayan salt that is uh, known for its healing qualities and it's good for you. And of course we have other uh, items listed here as well for different activities. That's what I love to see in the spring and summertime is lots of outdoor activities that are happening as well. The other thing that I want to encourage you is because the month of May is the celebration of your mom, your aunt, your sister, and other females in your life, I encourage you to encourage them to take that month and use it for self-care. And what that means is that you're going to celebrate Mother's Day with everyone, yet also take the time and make some of those appointments that uh, that you need to take care of your health. For example, your right, regular annual physical to get your blood work done to make sure that you're in good shape. Maybe you need to visit a, um, um, a, a, family, a female doctor as well. Uh, maybe to get your allergy tested, uh, get a massage, right? Have, uh, schedule your dentist cleaning. So some of those things that we sometimes don't think about because we just keep on running and running nonstop. Yet that month is a good time to kind of settle down and think about taking care of ourselves because if we can't take care of ourselves and we don't do that, then we're going to have a hard time taking care of others. Here are some other amazing May holidays to help you celebrate. You know, I'm big on celebrating small holidays that are not just national, but taking the time to do something special with your loved ones. National Teacher Day is coming up. National Nurses Day is coming up as well. National Lost Sock Memorial Day. I think this is just hilarious because we all have them. I just had one of my cats play with my daughter's sock downstairs on our hardwood floors. And it was so funny to watch him kind of roll it around like it was a ball. So it was so very funny. Uh, May 18th is National No Dirty Dishes Day. I think I'm going to give that as a suggestion to my daughters and ask them to take care of everything in the kitchen. And May is also a small business month. So I encourage you to think about some of the small businesses that we love to support. Um, we, for our birthdays, for all of our clients, provide them with a free yummy treat at a couple of our local bakeries. So we encourage you to do the same and find something special and support our local businesses and help them grow and prosper. So some uh, suggestions here for you for a sweet route if you wanted to do something. Nothing Bundt Cake is one of my favorites in Newtown and they also have offices in Princeton and Cherry Hill. Duck Donuts, amazing. They make donuts to order fresh and hot in the box. So when you come out, you are already starting to pr probably drool because the smells are amazing. Uh, ginger peach in Lawrenceville. I just introduced this hidden gin to my clients that are that are moving here from Tennessee and they absolutely loved it. And uh, JB Bakery is one of our favorites in Burlington, New Jersey as well. So as you know, you can always join us. We do these coffees. We also have our maintenance checklist videos and we are here to help you educate you and bring you relevant information to our community every month on a weekly basis through our free online Zoom workshops. You can join us from the comfort of your couch. You can register on our uh, live uh, links here. It's live with Olga. That website gets updated on a regular basis. And here's a list of our webinars that we have coming up. All of these are our favorites and we are starting to do some of the uh, in-person as well events. We work closely with the local library networks. So hopefully if you are in the area and you want to pop in, we have our schedule here. And you can find us on, on the phone call via a text or email anytime. If you have any questions, if you're looking for recommendations for contract or please utilize our concierge service. Home updating consultation, free market analysis of your home in your neighborhood. And we do help you move stress-free pretty much anywhere in the United States and Canada. So we would love to help you. Right now we have a couple of clients. One of them is relocating from New Jersey to South Carolina and some others are also making their plans. So we would love to help you or anyone that you can think of. So that is what I have to share with you today. 
We hope that you enjoyed this quick update for the month of May. We hope that you have a wonderful month and we hope that we will see you at one of our workshops. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you next time. Bye.